Hey guys, this is Colton Tack on Sonic Boom Film 101, and I'm here with more of my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. And yeah, I'm very excited because <clears throat> it's May 25th, 2018, and it's the last day of school. And yeah, I just got done doing my last day of school day, and it was awesome. I can't believe that the school year is finally over. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a special part of my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. So, with that being said, it's time to begin. Let's put my, let's get, let's get, let's put it right here. Type in my password. It will take seconds, don't worry. Oh, it's ready now. And yes, we did get the sound set up. And these speakers have the sound set up. So it seems that I'll be able to hear the startup sound for Windows XP. Because last time... Oh. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> it's been a minute, and the startup sound for Windows XP just played recently. Like, holy crap. That's awesome, like, how could this ever happen? I'm sorry about that, I'm just messing with this, the, the tablet screen. But anyway, um, I'm very excited that the school year is over now. Like, it's been, like, such a great school year. I can't wait to move on to 11th grade in August. So, yeah, um... Okay, I got the camera to focus, but it's still logging me on for some reason. Oh, and there's the there's the desktop background screen. Where's Sonic? Yep. It's been two minutes. The computer's logging me on a little faster than last time because... I mean, it doesn't log on pretty fast because when I log on, it seems um, the Windows XP computer just kind of gets pretty slow. And that face that Sonic's making right here, that'll be my face when the computer is not going so fast. I'd be like, hey, computer, get fast here right now or else. <laughs> anyway, um, I, hope, I hope the taskbar and the icons come up. Because I need to open the start menu soon. So that way I could try to do that tutorial. On Microsoft Money 2004. So. So if you excuse me. Please come up. And we also need the recycle bin to come up. And yeah. Oh, and what I also forgot to tell you, viewers, um, I also forgot to show you the specs of the computer. So, um, <clears throat> while I eventually wait for this computer to log me on, here's some, here's part of the computer I want to talk about. Here, there's, a, this is the power button right here. It shows you, like, you're going to power on the computer right here. This green light appears when, when you turn on your computer. And I don't know what this other green light is. It's probably because of a CD drive. And there's the Dell logo. And, and this part right here, I know you can't see it, but this is where the earphones get plugged in. Or, or any other type of thing to use. So. Oh, there's all. You also see some speakers right here that they're plugged in. And then um, there's an earphone jack for this. What? Okay. I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me talk me on. This, the task bar is here. There's still no recycle bin. And the uh, icons need to come here any second. But anyway, these are the speakers right here for the computer. And there's an earphone jack. There's a volume dial. And there's the power button. Make sure you power on the speakers and turn them off too. Okay. 
move for a minute. Oh, seems like the icons came in, but first let me just take a look at the back of the computer. This is what it looks like. This is this one. That's the power cord. <clears throat> there's also one for the monitor as well. And there's like some plugs for this. This, this blue plug is for the monitor probably. And I don't know what this, wait, this green one's for the mouse, you know, this dark green one's for the mouse, and this light, wait, wait. this purple or pink one is for the keyboard, probably, and, and this light green one, that's for the speaker, it's plugged in right here, so you see that, those are the speakers, and I think that's everything, probably, but wait, we also forgot the keyboard and the mouse right here. But now that we got everything set up, it's time to time to take a look at the specs of the computer. When the start menu thing loads, we'll be able to like uh, go to my computer and then we have to right click on it. So I'm gonna go to the start menu for first. Okay, there we go. Now let's let's right click on my computer. Wait, is it going to show up? Um, come on. Come up, please. I know you want to do it. I mean, this computer is like, old. it's an old computer, but it's, I mean, it's like either 14 or 15 years old, but it's still good working. Although it's slow, though. It's still a good working computer. It works, however. I'm very happy it works. Wait a minute. Do I need to like eventually? Just try to do this. I'm wasting time now. I don't know what's going on. Come on, load. You know what, viewers? Just give it some time because I don't really want to wait like this. Oh, good. It did it. Okay. I did not want to pause it anyway, so... I'm going to click Properties. We're going to take a look at the specs of the computer. Because I didn't even get to show you them yet. I just clicked on Properties. Come on. That's it? Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I guess that's it. And after I take a look at the specs of the computer, I'm going to have to, like, take a look at the Microsoft Mic tutorial for creating an investment account. Wait. Wait. It's actually the, you know, the one that comes after the balance the account to a paper statement. So, when is the specs thing going to come up? This is going to take time. I mean, this is like an old computer, but... I never even expected to use stuff like this again. Man, I miss this computer, especially when I was, like, a little kid. Like, <clears throat> okay, it's loading Embark, but it's going to take time here. So I'm going to have to pause the recording because this is going to take lots and lots of time. So with that being said, I'll be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. I had to wait a bit longer for the computer to um, <clears throat> load the specs for the computer. So it's finally, it's finally, it's finally loaded. So we'll take a look at them. All right. This is Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition version 2002 service pack 3 registered to my dad. I think this is the, wait, <clears throat> I don't know what this is, and then, then we have, uh, manufactured and supported by Dell, Dell Computer Corporation, Dell Dimension DIM 4600, this is the Dell Dimension 4600, like I said, this is the Intel R, <clears throat> Pen Pentium R4 CPU, 2.80 gigahertz. <clears throat> 2.79 gigahertz, 256 megabytes of RAM. So, 
So yeah, I I really do like the computer. I do love how this computer is like pretty old, and it's pretty an old one during my childhood days. So yeah, I now use this in my basement. So yeah, so I can prove to everyone that this is like a childhood computer. You know, a computer that I used way back in my childhood, especially way back in 2012, because this was a very good computer to use. I think I've started using this computer ever since, like, around 2004 or 2005, probably. I don't really know. But, anyway, my, my finger's in the way. Alright, we're gonna try to find the tutorial we were talking about. Gonna go to Local Disk C, Program Files, Microsoft Money, Media, AV Help. And now we're gonna go into 13 IT. Here we go. This could be loud, so I'm going to turn the volume down. Enter an investment transaction. We've already set up that investment account for our broker, Ferguson and Bardell. I think it's time we enter the stocks that we've bought and sold. That'll bring the value of our investment account and money up to date, won't it? Right. And recording each investment transaction can also help us calculate our capital gains for taxes at the end of the year. Okay. Let's start with our first purchase here. 10 shares of Parnell Aerospace. We'll go to our money portfolio and add the new investment. Good. Here's another money wizard to walk us through each step. We choose our investment account from the list. Now the stock. Since this is a new stock for us, it's not in our list yet. I'll just type it in. What type of investment is it? Well, it's a stock. What's the symbol on the statement? It's PRNL. But if we didn't know what it was, we could click Find Symbol, and money quickly searches the internet to find it. Here's where we fill in the buy details. We can take it right off the statement. Money offers two ways to track our stocks. If we just want to track the number of shares, we can fill in the quantity here. But since we want money to track our investment performance, as well as capital gains and losses for our taxes, we'll enter the date and price details, too. So now we're finished adding the investment transaction. And see... It's now listed in our portfolio. So money calculated the total. Of course. This shows us quantities, market value, and the gains and losses on our holdings. If we want to review transactions for this stock, we just click its name. We can get even more information here. Oh, let's look at the price history. This is great information. Where does it come from? From the Internet. We're set up to connect to the web and update the investment information each time we open money. But we can update it any time we're working in money, as long as we're connected to the Internet. First, we click Update Price Online. Money goes to the web and retrieves the latest prices for all the investments in our file. That'll keep our portfolio current and accurate. And that would be the tutorial for entering an investment transaction for Microsoft Money. On the next part, we'll be learning about reducing your debt. I don't know if that's going to happen tomorrow, but I hope it will happen. But Anyway, I'm going to go now. <clears throat> Time to end this part because, yeah, there's going to be lots of things I'm going to have to do today. I'm going to have to do this early, so let's turn off the computer. And I believe this was the 15th part. Oh, 16th, sorry. 16th part, so... That's it for the 16th part of my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. <clears throat> Stay tuned next time, hopefully Saturday, which is tomorrow, for part 17. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Film 101 signing off. Thanks for watching.